This is part two on doing the Huff gravity model. In the previous section we've looked at calculating the distance. Now we need to go in and figure out the attractiveness for each of these malls, which will also use the gross letable area for each of them. And so we have to go back into our data view, modify the table, we need to add some more uh, fields. So add five, excuse me, seven. And this is just a factor for attractiveness. And again, we're going to have to tie that to each polygon, to each mall. And the last one, we're going to total those up in this along the way. Make sure it's all real numbers. The formatting doesn't matter, it's just a number to use for comparison, but make sure it's a real number, not an integer. So now we have those. So the attractiveness is going to look at the distance, but also the size of the mall. So we're going to write a formula here. Fill formula. Well, in this case, for mall number one, the total area of the um, high point shopping center is 107, 135 square meters. So that's our attractiveness feature. Now we have to do the drive time. And so what you do is you go through, and it's really the, the drive times or distance squared, um, which is just that same thing repeated against itself. So we have 107, 135 divided by distance times distance. Second mole, Northlands, 85141. Three is Doncaster, which is 108. 841 for is Chad Stone one thirty five zero six six. Five is Knox ninety five one six five. Then I need to total those up. So now we have the attractiveness. Now we need to add the probabilities. So go back to data view again. Add seven fields. You do the probability or its actual market share. So I can use either term.
again make sure they're real numbers but in this case since they are percentages I'm going to go ahead and format it to have percentages two decimals so now it's added those this is actually quite simple all you're going to do is take the attractiveness of one divided by the total attractiveness that gives you the percentage so for the second one you use two So I'm working on the last one now. Then I just need to go through and do my totals just to make sure I've done this correctly. The formula is strictly adding up each of those. And hopefully, since it's all percentages, they should all add up to one. which they have. We've now done our market share. So basically all you've done the hard work. You just need to map it out and do a color theme. As you can see from mall one it has a large area on that side of town whereas the other malls all have very low probabilities around the other locations. You know there's a mall here, here, here with the purple. Which are the lowest probabilities? Obviously because there's a large shopping center there. They're going to capture a big chunk of the market. So all you have to do is go back, clean it up, do this, and you will have your gravity models. The um, For my students, you need to go back and create an actual layout, clean up each of these, and do all six on one map, and a sample one's already online that you can access. Good luck.